mighty complex. The berserker baboons have been the bane of our existence. Agreed. It is time someone came up with a plan once and for all to rid us of those miserable misanthropes. Exactly, mighty complex. I have been working on a plan to do just that. Allow me to give you a demonstration, mighty complex. I've told them they're about to see an episode of The Bold and the Warty. What? How dare fricks make faces at me? I've never witnessed such insubordination! Ouch! Stop that! You slow-witted fool! This is one-way glass. We can see them, but they can't see us. Five, four, three, two... feel is an innate response, a self-preservation reflex genetically triggered whenever they see a berserker baboon. But now, look at this. We, we know toads are terrified of baboons, but what's new about that? Just watch here, Marshal. This is amazing! What have you done to remove their fear of the baboons? Not their fear, their innate response. I have designed special goggles. Their unique polarization warps the images of berserker baboons. See for yourself. <laughs> These are fantastic! It makes the baboons look funny! My plan is to use these goggles to conquer Betelgeusea, the Berserker's homeworld. Wait a minute! These goggles are a neat trick, but Berserker baboons are our most formidable foes in the universe! I am well aware of the enemy, Toad Air Marshal. I have constructed new anti-Berserker weapons for our troops. And to eliminate any possibility of failure, there is a secret weapon that you shall procure from the White Cliffs of Cahill. No! Please, Mighty Complex, don't make me go there to retrieve that! Stop sniveling. Toadbot has given you a mission. Fulfill it. <laughs> so, you see, it's really the amplitude of various frequencies that makes... Oh, really? Could I borrow your notes for the history test? I'd really appreciate it. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, TJ. You could borrow them. Here. Thanks. Bye. I think she likes me. What she likes are your study notes. She uses them to cheat on her tests. That's not true. Don't fool yourself, Willie DeWitt. I know how she operates. Mm -mm, uh, she likes me. I know she does. Well, did you see it? TJ was cheating. She's using your notes to cheat with during tests. Hi, uh, you gotta be mistaken. Open your eyes, Willie. She's nothing but a manipulator. She's just using you to improve her grades. This is the righteous indignation calling Willie. Do you read me? Jenny, what's the matter? Are you guys in trouble? I know we usually call you in an emergency, but this time we thought you might enjoy coming with us. We're going to Bruiser's homeworld. He's being awarded the Bronze Banana Medal of Valor from his old academy. Wow, that's neat. Hey, I'm on my way. Oh, oh, Bucky, slow down. We're getting close to home now. What's that? Willie, hi. Oh, that's the planet Borg. Did that planet swarm it with bugs? <laughs> oh, the toads would love to get their hands on that planet. <laughs> oh, oh, look there. There's my home at last. Mother, here we come. Oh. Man, this is your home world? It's like one giant treehouse. Throw him the beat! Throw him the beat! It 
recognition of his outstanding heroic efforts in the Toad Wars, we hereby present Bruiser with the Bronze Banana Medal of Valor. <laughs> That's my boy. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, my little boy. Bruiser, I wonder if you'd do me a favor. Sure, General, anything. Would you come and put some cadets through the paces at the academy? I want them to learn from a real Marine. Oh, take me to him. Take me to him. Oh, Buck, would you all take my mother home? Cadet trainer can get pretty ugly. Sure thing, Bruiser. Hey, can I come, Bruiser? I can take it. <laughs> you know what? I think you can. <laughs> All right, now listen up. I'm Bruiser, and for the next 48 hours, you're gonna eat, sleep, and breathe berserk. You got that? Now, the first thing you gotta do to be taken seriously as a berserker is you gotta get the yell down. Goes like this. Are you okay, now you try. Give me all you got. One, two, three. Are you You call that a berserker bathroom yell? That ain't no yell. You ain't gonna scare no toads like that. Willie can do better than that, and he ain't no baboon. Willie? Sure. Are you down? Now, are you down? Okay, this is it. Our first target. Are you down? Uh, what was that? What planet are we on, anyway? What's it matter? Ain't nothing here we can't handle. Lower your goggles. Okay. Now that you know the yell, remember, you can scare any toad in the galaxy with a yell like that. Toad! What, here? Hey, no slimy wart bag messes with my world. No way. Are you? Things will never stop us! <laughs> stop giggling and fire your gas weapons! <laughs> fire the net! <laughs> Help me! These scrawny looking guys are strong! <laughs> Keep it up! We're big now! Your gas doesn't affect me, wart face! <laughs> and if you fight fair, Bruiser can clean your clock too! <laughs> Go ahead, call him! Bruiser! That's the last of them! Our mission was a success! The total invasion of their world has begun! Good kick! Good kick! Now let's move over to the next batch! Uh, I can't believe we're on a banana gathering expedition! Mrs. B! Mrs. B! Bruce has been captured, Mrs. B! My boy's been captured! Yeah, him and all them cadets of the academy, it, it was the toads! Toads, but they can't even stand to look a berserker baboon in the snow. I know, but it was them. The toads are invading our world. You can say that again. Look. Toads invading Beetlejuice. We'll pulverize them. Come in, get it, you slimy wart bags. <laughs> Wrong. It's you that's gonna get it. <laughs> Stop them toes! <laughs> you can't stop us! Your world 
just hours. Bruiser, what's going on? Silence! You will speak only when spoken to. The toads are in charge here. Toad check. Report. Everything's going according to plan, sir. Assault's going well. Hundreds of the planet's inhabitants are now our prisoners. Excellent. Yeah, the total bog. Mission accomplished, sir. <laughs> we procured your secret weapon. Forget the secret weapon now. Our assault is going so well, we won't even feed it. <laughs> Scrawny shrimps, these guys sure are heavy. Now, boys, to the trees! Okay, Bucky, here they come. Yeah, let them come! I've been spoiled to fry some toad meat! Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, here we go! Look out! It's Bucky O'Hare! I just got word that the enemy's making a comeback. They're being led by Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare? What's he doing there? My weapons weren't designed to work against him and his infernal crew. Well, there, Marshal, it appears we will be using our secret weapon after all. <laughs> Terror Toad! Look at the size of that toad! We took 
took care of them, didn't we? Yeah, but they're invading the entire planet, and the others still have their goggles. They ain't afraid of us. They will be. Huh? Bruiser, these goggles are specially polarized to make baboons look wimpy. But with all the lab equipment here, I bet I can come up with a way to negate the polarity. Well, go to it, Willie. Come on, we've got to stop that terror toad. Let's go, toad! Unless, of course, he croaks us. A strategic retreat! <laughs> Don't give up, Captain! We can beat him! He's, he's too powerful! Hand to hand, we don't stand a chance! Is that Bucky turning tail? He's done turn coward! Belch wash! He's just regrouping for another assault, you'll see! Stand up to that monster! What hope can we have? <laughs> What's it take to hurt you? <laughs> Look, we missed a few! Get him! Willie, it's all up to you now. Let's give these toys 20-20 vision! Berserk him a boat! Look at all of them! Sisters of Aldebaran, lend me your strength. Oh no, I can't cast a spell like this. <laughs> And I thought you'd run out on us. Not at all. I just realized we weren't getting anywhere going snout to snout with that terror toad. So I made a quick trip to the planet Bog to pick up some bait. And you is quite a hero too, Willie. Thanks to you, them toads is more terrified than ever of berserker baboons. Yeah! You guys are the most powerful allies we have against the toads. I guess they learned one thing. You can try to delude yourself, but reality is reality. Hi, Willie. I need your notes again. Uh, I don't think so, TJ. Uh, please, Willie. There's a dance coming up on Saturday. Maybe we could go together if you help me pass that test. TJ, reality is reality. Willie DeWitt, I'm so proud of you. Hey, take it easy. So, Dweeb, do you want to go to the dance Friday night with me? With you? I didn't think you'd be interested. I wasn't even sure you liked me. Well, you are a bit of a brain, but you're honest and you're charming in your own way. Could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Mutants and aliens and toads beware! You're looking for adventure? Well, this is it! 
When Jenny did, I blinky, and Willie do it, I said, Bucky! Down to Bucky O'Hare! And now an update on Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Wars! In the battle of the universe, you don't know what's next. You only know amphibians have made it complex! When you check out your scanner and the evil that it bodes, there's only one course of action! Let's cook us some toad! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare. If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit, and your photon accelerator is broken a bit, and you're losing your mind, and you're having a fear, get the funky fresh rabbit who can take care of it! It's Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! To say Bucky! I said Bucky! Bucky O'Hare! Let's croak us some toes! Hey, you made it to the end of the episode. That's awesome. If you like our videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're in a position to help out the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. Be sure to check out our Facebook page where you can keep up to date with us. And go ahead and watch another episode of your favorite nostalgic cartoons right here at the Cartoon Vault.